Hey guys and welcome back. Well, as you know, uh, Robin Crawford has made a tell-all book about Whitney Houston, the life of of her best friend, and she's uh, been around the circuit doing interviews with uh, a lot of different people. Uh, she was on the Wendy Williams show, uh, Lena Waits, she interviewed her, and tomorrow she's going to be at the Red Table with Jada Pickett-Smith. And um, the episode is going to show where uh, Robin talks about Whitney's death and how hard it was for her to believe uh, that Whitney drowned, you know. Um, she said, you know, Whitney could swim. Whitney loved the water. And, uh, she said she had a hard time. She was full of different emotions after, um, they told her that Whitney had drowned in the tub. Uh, my impression is that she's saying which not saying because she doesn't want to step on anybody's toes and she don't want to, <laughs> but... She's saying, like I'm saying, how the hell are you going to drown in a bathtub? I don't care how high you get. I mean, come on. And they told me that the water was hot and it scalded and burned. Up. Come on. I don't care how high you get. You can't. It's going to take a lot for you to drown in a bathtub if you're a grown person. Come on now. But, um, you know, that's what she said. And, you know, out of all, uh, Robin has sucked. Uh, come out with you know at first i was kind of skeptical saying why she want to come out now but i'm glad she did come out because she set the record straight you know everybody has come out with autobiographies about whitney which wasn't you know they were just the nice the, 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 you know the nice not step on anybody's toes but i mean she truly told how well uh, you know, especially with Wendy's family, how they made her the cash cow and that she had to work. She had to, you know, uh, give everybody uh, a salary and money. And, you know, they just didn't want the, the, the they were like, a, a you do a boxer, you know, even when she didn't want to get up, they made her get up and, hey, you got to get that money for us. Even so, because I remember when her father was leaving, you know, he sued her for some money, you know, and I mean, that was, it was awful. And for them even to be putting on this little concert to have her on a hologram and you watch her on stage, I hope nobody don't go because, <laughs> because they're still trying to get money off of Whitney, the cash cow, let her rest. She's gone. Now, if y'all need some money, uh, sissy, like I said previously, they need to roll her on stage, somebody recording studio, make us make her, uh, make an album or eight track or, <laughs> or whatever, or she better do like Sweetie Pies, where she can't stop, couldn't sing, she better get in the kitchen, fry some fish, and uh, be like, uh, <laughs> Uh, Patty LaBelle, make some pies or uh, something because Whitney is gone and she needs to rest in peace. Her daughter is with her and, you know, it's nobody uh, out here that that they were dependents. Yeah, they were old dependents, but they better sign them a, a new gig, you know. Uh, but, and, 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 you know, and Robin tapped around. Well, she told it in the book how Oh, how physical my uh Bobby Brown was with uh Whitney. Even witnessed him spitting in Whitney's face, you know. Um, saying that he would act out, have these fits, which I'm sure he did because when Lifetime was doing that autobiography of him and Whitney uh, well Whitney and he was trying to shut it down he was trying to sue he didn't want to come on they, they was going to portray him as bad why was he so worried about them portraying him uh, as bad and this and that and when it came out it didn't portray him as you know bad so I mean that's that was what it was about <laughs> he thought they were truly going to uh expose him on how physical he was, you know, and abusive he was to Whitney. But, you know, like I said, uh, out of everybody's different stuff, not just the 
the, her relationship, but telling how, you know, Whitney was just the cash cow and, you know, how the family just, just torn her down to the ground. She had to work. I mean, if she was alive today, they'll still be having her, you know, touring and working, which she wasn't physically able. I mean, she should have been in somebody rehab while she was, they were trying to get money out of her. <clears throat> sad but uh, but that's it and like I said I was kind of mad at Ray, uh, Robin for coming out with it but I'm glad she did what y'all think hmm? alright hey if you agree or not press that comment button and we'll discuss it <laughs> alright guys thank you so very much for watching my video I hope you will like share and subscribe to my channel and as always in party be blessed, y'all.